Uh, hello there people and good morning. Uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my let's play of Panzer General. Yeah, it's early morning, like 4.30 or something. I couldn't sleep. I uh, had a pretty lousy day yesterday. <laughs> Custody hearing. Like I said before, never get married, guys. If not absolutely necessary. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you for all your suggestions and kind comments. Um, now we are moving on to Soviet scenarios, uh, defensive of course, and uh, yeah, I've noticed that most of you would like to see Moscow or, and of course, Kursk. Yeah, I was actually planning to do Moscow and I agree with you sorry forgot your name um, no, I don't know where my head is this last couple of days but thank you I agree with you if we do Moscow we should do Moscow 43 uh, because uh, well we are facing tigers and panthers and everything you know so it's difficult uh, as far I remember it is very difficult. As for Kursk, well, just let us just take a look at Kursk for the moment. Uh, for a moment, uh, yeah, I will probably do it. But what I don't like about this scenario is to achieve a victory for the Allies. You actually have to take over at the end uh, this victory objective that is held by the Axis uh, in the beginning. Um, it's doable, I remember doing it, but it's really not fair, you know. <laughs> not only you have to stop all the heavies here uh, and here and Luftwaffe and everything, uh, you have to actually take over the city of uh, Rilsk. Uh, but enough about Kursk for now, let us go back to Moscow. So it's Moscow 43. Uh, take a look at this. So, X is turn one. Um, let us first review the whole thing. Yeah, again, I will be playing uh, with uh, hidden units um, off and uh, weather uh, off. So, no winter will save us here. We either win or we die. It's pretty simple. Yeah, this is the ground map, this is the air map. One thing you probably notice at the, uh, immediately is that th this is a very large map and um, if I'm correct, I think um, uh, 21 turns for the Axis to <coughs> take over all of the victory objectives including Moscow. Yeah, sounds good, right? Um, large map. But now, take a look at the units that we are facing as the Soviets. So, Panthers, more Panthers, Tiger 1. Carol, this one's for you. Kind of boxy, I think, still. <laughs> but more Panthers and Tigers. A uh, lot of other units that are also dangerous. Nashhorn. <coughs> JP Elephant, uh, plenty of artilleries, more Panthers. Even the weakest German tank uh, in this scenario is actually better than most of the, maybe even all of, of the Soviet tanks. So, some serious shit. Yeah. Good thing is we have plenty of units, plenty of space to retreat, but in the end uh, we'll have to devise a way to stop uh, the Panthers and Tigers if we want to win, and I think we do. The only good thing I see about this scenario is that Luftwaffe is, yeah, Luftwaffe units are superior to uh, Soviet uh, Air Force. Uh, but there are not a lot of them, only 10 to start with, 
and I think yeah we also have 10 air units so if we prepare a good killing zone and I'm thinking about the city of Vyazma here then we'll have a chance because after Luftwaffe is gone we'll use our tactical bombers to harass uh, armor and our fighters uh, if they survive of course to harass softer targets having said that <coughs> very important question in Moscow uh, any scenario of Moscow is where to you know establish the line of defense of course this very first line mm, will collapse here of course here also here 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 we have no chance this will only delay uh, Wehrmacht for couple of turns maybe. However, our best bet um, is the city of Vyazma. We have good defenses, uh, we have fortifications and also uh, we will have some of the tank reserves behind our lines. Uh, plus of course Soviet Air Force. Uh, so if I remember correctly, uh, but please note that I haven't played this scenario in a very long time. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, the first place where we can make a stand is the city of Vyazma. We'll have about three, maybe four turns to prepare, um, depending on how much uh, these units here will help delaying. Wehrmacht units, but you can count uh, with, for example Panther, the fastest of the tanks the one, two four, because this is rough terrain five, six uh, one, two, three, four, five, six yeah, so for two turns we are safe and then Panther will, will reach our defenses um, as for Luftwaffe uh, they will reach us in two turns well you know what I'm talking about they will reach um, our um, fort of Vyazma if you prefer uh, in two turns and we should probably welcome them with plenty of air defenses and everything and also of course um, Soviet air units I will not ignore the south, but but most of the victory objectives, including Moscow, are here in the north or in the middle, if you prefer. So most of our resources will go to the north. Speaking of resources, if we now end this turn, oh no no no, just one more thing. Uh, I was just thinking um, the best way. <laughs> to win is actually to disband these suckers <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we won't but um, this would be excellent you know just to disband all the panthers and tigers and everything and then then things would be different uh, where was I? ah about uh, resources okay uh, let us end this turn to see what we have um, so almost 1500 of prestige no slots available at the moment, but don't worry, there will there, there will be plenty. Mm -hmm. Since um, this is actually why I, I don't really like uh, scenarios when I'm, you know, commanding uh, uh, the Russians and uh, fighting against Wehrmacht because um <coughs> we'll have plenty of casualties and body count. Uh, believe you me <laughs> um, will not be in our favor since Soviet units are of lesser quality than Wehr Wehrmacht units and um, but the quantity helps uh, speaking of units mainly we will purchase artilleries these are expensive but necessary and air defenses 
not expensive, but also very necessary and anti tanks. Again, not expensive, but very useful against heavy tanks and infantry to some degree. And again, um, as you can see, light anti tank and heavy anti tank cost the same. Why? I'm really not sure. Yeah, uh, the light one has more ammo, but that's it. You know? Otherwise, heavy anti-tank is much, much better in every way. Okay, so... Um, this is the idea. We'll establish a defensive line around the city of Vyazma, back it up with artillery, air defenses, and once our front line is breached, we'll retreat and purchase anti-tanks. Um, in the south, we'll just try to delay the enemy, and finally probably make a stand around the city of Tula. Uh, but, you know, I have no intentions of heavily defending the city, cities of Karachev, uh, Orel, and of course also the city of Kirov. Uh, we don't have enough resources for it. Uh, so yeah, uh, as for uh, the units that are uh, behind the lines, some of them I will bring forward, but not all of them, not even most of them, since there is no guarantee we'll actually win around the city of Vyazma, stop Wehrmacht and everything, so I want to have some reserves. Um, and if it comes to this, then we'll have the last defensive line around the city of Moscow, and um, I'm pretty sure that uh, the enemy will run out of time uh, before reaching Moscow. 21 turns seems plenty, but it's a large map and, um, you know, we are not planning to just allow uh, Wehrmacht to drive all the way to Moscow unopposed. So now I will take a little pause, make myself uh, another cup of coffee, then we'll start. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Um, yeah, just one more thing, um, very important actually, but I forgot it. Um, it is not advisable to move the units with high entrenchments. Um, so, you know, if possible, leave them be. However, some of the units I will move to better positions uh, inside fortifications still, but, you know... Um, yeah, it is a trade-off, uh, however, uh, even though now it looks that we have plenty of prestige, we'll soon be very low on it, and um, I would like to make most of the units that we currently have. Um, I was thinking also a lot about these two tanks here, whether or not send them here to delay the enemy, or pull them back to help. Uh, when they cross uh, this rough terrain and I have still not decided what to do this is pretty difficult shit and sometimes I hate my job, you know <laughs> playing Panzer General and everything um, you'll see how these guys perform um, Tigers and Panthers damn it damn it I'm pretty sure that if uh, Germany in World War II would uh, have, you know, plenty of, of uh, plenty of uh, tigers and panthers, um, don't think uh, the Soviet Union would be able to defend itself, uh, since these guys are beasts, as you can see. Uh, soft attack of 11, hard attack of 21, soft attack of 13, hard attack of 18. Uh, these units are, you know, freaking amazing. But anyway, um, let us now start. So we are playing for uh, the allies. Oh, sorry. okay, okay, sorry. Moscow 43, 
Germany's final chance to end the war in the East. In the East, sorry. Let us start. And quick prayer to the God of Panzer General. <laughs> Okay, uh, this Recon can shoot back. With no effect, unfortunately. So, Luftwaffe starts the attack, of course. Shit, bad luck. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Somewhat better. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like I said, our first line is doomed. Um, there is no way we can survive. But this is a good result. Now they will have more problems, you know, to to breach our first line of defense. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. the most about the game can do I cannot do anything you know uh, to help my units rugged defense wonderful up yours Panther and even with rugged defense you see the result bloody things are almost indestructible come on shell it this one has three stars of experience, actually. Heavy artillery doing absolutely nothing. Only some suppression. But rugged defense again. Okay. Okay. This is actually going pretty well. <laughs> That's the whole thing. They're kicking our butts and it's actually going pretty well. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, this is a light artillery actually, so no result expected. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. I know, I know. I know, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, stop him, stop him, do something. Three suppressed. They, they all have three stars of experience. <laughs> a heavy anti-tank gun backed up by a heavy artillery. Well, at least some damage was done. So, as you can see, soon we'll have plenty of slots available <laughs> for new purchases. I don't know, 10, 12 maybe? When it's all over, of course. 
Come on, rugged. Yes. No, do not fire first, you punk. Okay. Perhaps a first casualty. No, but close. Rugged. Ah! Bloody Nashorn. Excellent as an offensive weapon, but uh, bad defenses. So rugged defense would would be nice, but didn't happen. Mm, okay, we have fired first. Hua! Wow! Now this was actually amazing. Rugged? Okay, I guess we had our share of good luck. Rugged? No. <laughs> They're killing us and it's not fair! <laughs> I think this is the line from uh, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, something like it. Pioneers for them no rugged defense ever. Bloody pioneers. Allied turn one. Oh wonderful. Now let us just take a look at what happened. Uh -huh. Nobody advanced in the northern sector. This is strange. Why didn't these two panthers? Hmm. Well, it's very good luck, but I was think. Hmm. Okay. Here. Actually, now I think we had some very good luck. Almost no progress was made. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Uh, I was expecting a worst. Uh, worser. Uh, wor wor bad. Worse. Worst. <laughs> this was actually a good result, and only eight units lost in the first turn. Hmm. Okay, um, okay, now, uh, sorry, uh, coffee doesn't agree with me always in the morning, uh, okay, now I will save the game, take a little pause, uh, oh, it's not Norway any longer, it's Moscow, um, Moscow, zero, zero, 001, um, take a little pause, study the battlefield, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Um, yeah, this is one huge map. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> it took me... Well, more than 20 minutes to actually uh, decide what to do. And I'm still not convinced that this is the best strategy possible, but, you know, bear with me. We have to win this. I guess this is one way to do it. So. Let us start from the north. Here um, we'll have to, you know, establish a new line of defense. And first we'll shell this inf. And move our artillery here. Now, with some good luck, we may even be able to destroy 
this inf and we'll use uh, this one to try it ah damn it didn't work but still and also we pull back our anti-tank gun uh, so now again we are kind of you know safe for the time being at least um, now of course moving south I was actually I spent a couple of minutes actually to think what to do with this artillery um, and the main question always is uh, is it more important for us uh, to you know uh, to force the enemy <coughs> sorry to force the enemy to spend one of his high quality units uh, to destroy our crippled unit or you know is it better to disband it and um, in this case means that the enemy gets no prestige uh, there is no definite answer uh, to this question but I have decided to just retreat the artillery and you know um, perhaps well not not perhaps but the enemy will have to spend one more uh, oh sorry like I said I had a terrible day yesterday and I'm not myself uh, not even this few hours of sleep that I had uh, tonight but I have decided to you know, retreat the artillery and um, then it will be destroyed of course but still it didn't work ok let us, uh, let us continue now we'll bring our tank here just in case course we do not want uh, the enemy tanks to reach our artillery too easy too easily uh, and now we'll uh, attack these Junkers with our air defense and then we'll stay put since uh, our air defense has an entrenchment of five very nice probably time to save uh, just in case so it's Moscow zero zero oh shit sorry Moscow zero zero two we will sacrifice uh, when uh, it will be possible we will sacrifice um, our air units um, if we can destroy at least you know one of uh, one of the Luftwaffe units uh, this is our advantage our main advantage uh, we can purchase more units than the, than the enemy but of course our units are of lesser quality uh, so that's the whole thing uh, what else can we do uh, well nothing here Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now this is all also well. First, we'll try to destroy this record. Perhaps it will work. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Wonderful casualties. <laughs> As you can see, uh, not good, but okay. At least now one of the Wehrmacht units is gone. Yeah, but uh, I wanted to say that um, I was thinking a lot about the situation here, and I have decided for a very uh, straightforward approach. Um, 
just to give us time to prepare the defenses around the city of Vyazma and elsewhere. So now we'll shell this Reckon. Come on. Very nice. Now for the sacrifice, we'll attack it with our tank. Ouch! Bastard. <coughs> the Reckon has retreated, now for our anti-tank. Wonderful. Uh, we stay put, of course, and now we block this approach here. Bring our cavalry here and two of our artillery is also closer. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah. Well, at least one of our artilleries will have to go here. For the second one, I'm not sure. But you park here. So yeah, most likely uh, we will lose uh, all of these units. Uh, well, not most likely, we will lose them all, but we are buying ourselves some precious time. Now we attack uh, this Stuka. Oh, this was beautiful. Uh, if only we could destroy it now, it would be perfect. Oh no, it didn't work. Too bad. Uh, ah, okay. Um, again moving south, as you can see. Uh, here, we'll attack the Stuka and then move our um, air defense here. So we are preventing the access both to this artillery and to this one. Uh, since uh, Panther A very close. And now, of course, we attack. Seven on the strength remaining. Too bad. Now we shell uh, this Vesp, the artillery. Wonderful. We pull back our inf, and now we again attack this Vesp with our anti-tank gun, which again will be sacrificed. Ooh, bloody marvelous! Where can we place our anti-tank gun? Uh, Uh, I think here. So the idea is uh, that the enemy will spend both of the, these artilleries trying to destroy our anti-tank gun. Uh, so this line of defense will remain. Now for air sacrifices. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, 
this fighter will try to destroy this uh, Stuka and then of course die nothing we can do about it but I think it's worth it come on wonderful however the second part will probably not work uh, but I still feel like doing it so 0, 06 please make it 7 please make it 7 Yes! Okay, uh, time to save. I need another pause. Um, sorry, you know. Um, it is a difficult scenario and I really want to do my best. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Okay. So, I have decided what to do. Took me a while, but this artillery, artillery will go here. And now here uh, we'll do something which I actually advise against usually, but we have to form a defensive line and we will. Uh, the same goes here. And now we pull back our two tanks and purchase uh, another air defense here in the south well basically we just retreat as quickly as possible and we leave this reckon since it will be destroyed anyway here in the woods so the Wehrmacht heavy tanks will not follow us immediately. Uh, now go, let us go behind the lines. Uh, in the city of Tula. Here we will prepare the defense. And we'll do it like this. Bridge engineers into the entrenchments. This infantry closer. On the next turn we'll bring it here. And of course, uh, artillery here. Air defense can probably stay put for for the time being. And then we'll bring it inside the city of Tula. So it will be a somewhat defensive position here. Uh, infantry will cross the river hex. Bridge engineers here. And I tank here, and this inf inf goes south. The same goes for this artillery, and more imps, of course. You here, you here. We will not actually remove our uh, bridge engineers uh, from the victory objectives, uh, if not absolutely necessary, of course since it is possible uh, for the enemy to by bypass our defenses and you know we don't want to leave our um, victory objectives empty this inf however will ret retreat and finally end up here so this is our last line of defense if the enemy uh, wins, uh, well actually if it reaches Moscow, then this will be our last line of defense, uh, this circle, so we have plenty of time to prepare for this, uh, but we should start as soon as possible. Uh, okay, you stay put, now back to the north, again I was thinking a lot about what to do with the tanks retreat them, bring them here or maybe here, but then I've decided 
since there are plenty of infantry in the area here in the north uh, we'll use them here to do more damage uh, damn it I really don't like this scenario I can tell you uh, In a second, my seat went out. At the moment, uh, take a look at the casualties. <laughs> we are actually doing pretty well. <laughs> For the price of seven infantry and one artillery, we have destroyed two Reckons, one artillery and two tactical bombers. But it will change really soon. And I do not like it. Not at all. Oh, damn it. Okay. For the rest of our armor, these two guys will head north. <coughs> uh, these three guys will retreat. So, probably see where I'm going uh, with everything. We'll defend around the city of Vyazma. We'll prepare the defenses around the city of Kaluga and here in the south in the end we'll defend uh, the city of Tula. All other cities are expendable and we'll only use them uh, to slow the advance of the Wehrmacht. That's it. Okay, speaking of defenses, uh, bridge engineers out into forts. Uh, artillery here. And now we'll purchase more. Artillery. Here. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, this inf goes here. I'm guessing that uh, we lose uh, this southern, uh, <laughs> southern, uh, this airfield uh, south of Vyazma so I will not bother protecting it too much but okay yet another artillery here now for the air defenses you can probably for the time being stay put but now we'll purchase more air defense here Here, here, and here. And since we have prepared the killing zone, we may as well leave a bait, right? Uh, so you can fly here, but you will retreat to safety, uh, and safety is uh, either this airfield here, or we'll just uh, count, we have an air movement of 12, so 1, 2, 3, so we go 9 back, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is enough, actually. Is this a thing? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, enough. Now for our other air units, we will also bring them closer, and will remain focused on the northern part of the battlefield. Um, Since I believe that if we win in the north, 
uh, will win the entire scenario. If we lose, well, you know, uh, then we are fucked. Okay. Uh, here and here. What else can we move? So now we'll give elite replacements to the units that we can and that we also believe can make a difference. Um, about the city of Karachev, I am thinking about purchasing another air defense. Um, hmm. Should we? Yeah, I think so. Another air defense. Here. Okay. And like I said now for the elite, air defenses get elite first. Um, then of course... Um, okay. Then, of course, uh, infantries that are highly entrenched. Okay, this tank has to come closer. And, of course, also anti-tank guns and everything. Okay. Elite. 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 Artilleries, in my honest opinion, are too expensive uh, to provide with elite replacements and some of the units are way behind the lines, so, okay, you get elite. Um, so we are just going through all of our units. Why not? Elite. Why am I not giving elite replacements to the units defending Moscow? Well, it's not their time yet and I hope it will never come. But you also get a lead. Even though there are pioneers here and uh, will probably again attack and destroy. Well, who knows? Perhaps we'll get lucky. And hmm. Elite. Now I guess we are down to tanks. And tanks will also be useful especially when we are counter-attacking, so now elite for the tanks. Hmm. This is going nowhere. Enough is enough. Uh, let us give um, elite replacements uh, or overstrength, if you prefer, to all of our frontline units. The rest of them, well, no, right? So here we are. And since I guess we have plenty of prestige at the moment, I will now also provide elite replacements to 
artilleries and um, uh, bridge engineers. So they had to wait. But yes, we have plenty. I will probably uh, will probably regret this um, um, sooner or later. But still, uh, so you also and um, as you can see, the stars are twinkling. So this is also one way to tell which unit uh, has not yet moved or been any kind of action. Okay. Yeah, you will have to wait. What else can we purchase now since we still have well, no slots available. Okay, no problem. Uh, so You know what the hell? Let us give a lead to all of the units. Just for the sake of it. I'm not sure if it is actually possible to stop the, the Wehrmacht around the city of Yasma, so let us prepare for the worst case scenario. And kids do not try this at home because uh, it's a bad idea. This now everything. I think so. Yeah. Okay, it's everything. So now we save the game. Uh, it's Moscow um, zero zero four. Nothing else to purchase. Casualties, of course. And now we give the enemy its turn, and then we finish the video and probably tomorrow, uh, Sunday, I will make another video, so, uh, just one more time, okay, that's it, and turn, he went for the fighter, okay, one more, ah, damn it, Yes. And for another fighter. I was hoping that the enemy will attack tactical bombers instead, but I was wrong. War. Oh yeah. Please survive this. Excellent. Now Hamel will also attack our artillery. Yes. I mean our anti-tank gun, of course. Okay. Target defense? Yes! Perfect! <laughs> but no result. Come on. Bloody heavy panthers. Okay. Hang in there. Come on! Come on. Okay, this tank was sacrificed. 
Too bad he didn't survive the first attack. No rugged defense, but we are still alive. Wonderful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now I want to see some defense. No. And we surrender. White flag. Okay. Okay, now stop this panther. Stop him. Damn it. Okay, firing at the same time is good. But it really didn't work. Ragged defense, wonderful. <laughs> Ragged defense, my ass. This is a massacre. <laughs> we are still alive. Wonderful. Ragged! Firing at the same time at least. Yeah. This Lynx is actually a Reckon, I believe. Um, even though it looks like a tank. Come on! Do some damage. Only three suppressed. Ragged defense, come on. No, no do, do not fire first. Damn it. This is not fair. And no ragged defense. Perfect, with an entrenchment of eight. Now you fire first. Oh. Bloody wonderful. So, first turn was in our favor as far as luck is concerned, but the second one, not even close. Come on, stop them! Oh yeah, perfect. Attack broken up. Ragged defense? No. Ragged defense, yes! Finally! Wonderful! Okay. <laughs> ah, damn it. And now we lose another inf. Come on, come on, come on. This inf has an entrenchment of 7, supported by a medium artillery. Come on, ragged defense! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Only two! Oh, god damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Fire first! No, no, not you! Entrenchment of five. Totally ignored.
Okay. And we are gone. And we are also gone here. Oh, <laughs> hell at turn two. <laughs> Twenty turns remaining. Casualties, of course. <laughs> Damn it. <coughs> Just take a look at the slots available. 14. So we have lost 14 units in a single turn. This is why I don't like fighting for the Soviets, you know. Uh, since we lose so many units. Yeah, we'll hit back. <coughs> most likely do some damage and everything but damn it damn it let us save before anything bad happens before computer restarts or anything well the only good thing is that even though now this is um, turn 2 we are still basically holding the first line of defense um, and we are preparing <coughs> a welcoming party for the Wehrmacht around the city of Vyazma yeah uh, so this is it for this video mm. What else can I say? Well, you know, we'll have to deal with Luftwaffe sooner or later. But so far, so good. The air war is going well. The ground war, well, not particularly well, but it was expected. Um, uh, so, anyway, uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic and bye-bye.